Hey everyone, in this lesson we will discuss the medium voltage circuit breaker. This will be a quick uh, tutorial about how can you select the medium voltage circuit breaker. So first let's understand that the rated voltages which are in uh, medium voltage which are considered as a medium voltage are 3.3 .3 kV, 6.6 .6 kV, 11 kV and 22 kV. These are different uh, levels for the medium voltage. Okay, so uh, when we are operating at them, we are operating at the medium voltage. Now remember that in the medium voltage level, usually that the rated currents will be from 630 ampere to 4000 ampere. This is the range of the circuit breaker available for the medium voltage. And we have something which is called the rated braking capacity, which we have to select. This one depends on the voltage level. Okay, as you can see, 11 kV, 22 kV, 6.6 kV. This is an example. In 11 kV, it is the rated braking capacity in megavolt ampere short circuit, 500 megavolt ampere. This one, 750 megavolt ampere. And 6.6 .6 is 250 megavolt ampere. So what does this actually mean? So what does the megavolt ampere short circuit mean? This simply means this one, the law, the original law is this one will be equal to root 3 multiplied by V line to line RMS R MS or the line to line voltage RMS or effective value multiplied by the short circuit current okay so this rated uh, this rated breaking capacity in megavolt ampere this representing the three phase power in case of the short circuit current okay root 3 which is of course it can be root 3 V line to line RMS or 3 multiplied by V phase okay V phase RMS okay which is representing the 3 uh, phase power multiplied by the short circuit current okay so this larger value representing the rated breaking capacity of a circuit breaker which shows exactly the short circuit current with respect to the line to line RMS. The line to line RMS here is that can be 22 kV, 11 kV, 6.6 .6 kV, 3.3 .3 kV. All of these voltages are line to line RMS. Now remember that these values, these values depends on the power grid. So according to the power grid, you will know what values for the megavolt ampere short circuit for each one so how can we know this this one can be known according to the short circuit current okay so the 11 kilovolt uh, power grid or the 66.6 uh, 6 kilovolt or a 22 kilovolt we identify the short circuit current the maximum short circuit current and according to this we will know what is the value of the megavolt ampere okay usually these values are a standard for each power grid this is not standard worldwide but it's standard for each power grid this is for example in my own country now uh, the circuit breakers which are used in the medium voltage can be oil circuit breaker can be air circuit breaker can be uh, SF6 uh, circuit breakers and vacuum uh, six uh, vacuum uh, circuit breakers and the rated voltage which is it can operate at the oil as you can see it can operate from 1 kV up to 130 kV which means it can operate in the medium and in the high voltage levels and this is a breaking capacity of the oil circuit breakers available from 150 megavolt ampere which of course is the rated capacity which we discussed here this rated capacity up to 2000 megavolt ampere also the air circuit breaker uh, can uh, from 1 to 15 kilovolt which means it works only in the um, medium voltage uh, level 
Also, the breaking capacity can be from 5 to 500 megavolt ampere. For the SF6 uh, circuit breaker, it can operate from 3.6 to 760 kilovolt, which means it can operate in the uh, medium level, high voltage level, and extra high voltage levels. And the breaking capacity, you can see it is very high from 10,000 to 50,000 megavolt ampere. Now, also the vacuum from 11 to 33 kilovolt, which is in the medium range, from 250 to 2000 megavolt ampere. Now, let's have a small example on how can we select the medium voltage circuit breaker. So, as you can see here, we have a three phase motor. As you can see, we have a three phase motor of a 2 megavolt ampere power. And this is, of course, the S or the apparent power and operating at 11 kilovolt. And we have a three phase circuit breaker. And we would like to select this circuit breaker. This circuit breaker is, of course, a medium voltage circuit breaker because we are operating at 11 kilovolt. So the first step is that we need to find the rated current of the motor, similar to the, what we did in the low voltage circuit breakers. So the load current will be equal to the apparent power. Let's type the low so you can understand it easily. As you know that the apparent power S for the motor or any load is equal to root 3 multiplied by V line to line RMS multiplied by rated current. Remember that we are talking about rated power not the uh, breaking capacity. Okay, so we have rated current since we are talking about rated power of a motor or a load. But the, in circuit breakers, the breaking capacity is related to the short circuit current. So the rated current of the motor will be equal to S, which is the parent power 2 megavolt ampere, over root 3, multiplied by V line to line RMS, which is 11 kilovolt. So the load current will be equal to the power, which is 2 megavolt ampere, divided by root 3, multiplied by 11 kilovolt, which will give us a current of 104 ampere. Now, if we get back to the previous slide, we said that the rated current of the medium voltage circuit breakers is from 630 to 4000 ampere. So in this case, as you can see here, this is a previous rating which we have shown before for circuit breakers. So we will select the 630 ampere as a short or as a circuit breaker rating. Okay, we can choose what type we can choose uh, SF6 from here. Let's delete all of this first. As you can see here, we are operating at 11 kilovolt, which means we need 500 megavolt ampere. So the 500 megavolt ampere can be with air circuit breaker, as you can see here, or can be from oil circuit breakers, or can be, can be from SF6 or vacuum. So any of these circuit breakers will be suitable according to the available breaking capacity. So as an example, we will select the SF6, but remember something which is really important. All of this satisfy the 500 megavolt ampere. But we need to satisfy the 11 kilovolt. So this one satisfy, this one satisfy 11 kilovolt, this one all satisfy, and this one all satisfy. So all of them satisfy the 11 kilovolt. So any of these breakers will be suitable for our application. So as an example, we selected the SF6 circuit breaker, and of course we will need an adjustable SF6 circuit breaker in order to uh, get it close to 104 ampere. Now, the short circuit uh, current, which we need to find, we need to find the short circuit current in order to uh, identify the uh, required breaking capacity, okay? Uh, or ICU, or the maximum short circuit current, or the maximum rating of the uh, circuit breaker, or the maximum short circuit of, on which our circuit breaker can withstand. So, as you can see here, we have 11 kilovolt. And from the previous slide, we said that it is 
having a 500 megavolt ampere as a um, breaking capacity okay or a short circuit uh, power for the 11 kilovolt grid so in order to find the short circuit current we said before from this law again the s which is 500 me megavolt ampere will be equal to root 3 multiplied by 11 kilovolt which is the v line to line uh, rms value multiplied by short circuit current because we are talking about the short circuit capacity so you as you can see here i short circuit will be equal to 500 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 which is 500 megavolt ampere over root 3 multiplied by 11 kilovolt which will give us a short circuit current in the 11 kilovolt grid which is a 26 kilo ampere so we need a circuit breaker which is uh, can we have a 630 ampere can withstand 11 kilovolt and have a short circuit current of a 26 kilo ampere or withstand this value however we have to consider a very important factor here so we said now that the short circuit current in case of this uh, 11 kilovolt we need 26 kilo ampere right but since we have motor okay which is really really important this is really important we have a motor in medium voltage so for megavolt, uh, medium volt, not megavolt, medium voltage motors, there are a contribution of currents from the other neighbored motors uh, in case of the fault. They are feeding the fault. This contribution can range from 50% to 80% of this um, current. Okay, so we need to consider this contribution. Okay, so in this case, as an example, we will choose 80%. So the capacity of the circuit breaker required will be the short circuit current, which is the 26 kilo ampere, plus the contribution from other motors, which can be from 50 to 80%. As an example, 80% of the short circuit current, which is the 26 kilo ampere. So 1 plus 80%, which is 0.8, give us 1.8 multiplied by 26, give us a 46.8 kilo ampere, the capacity required. Of course, we don't have this value, so we will choose the nearest available, which is 50 kilo ampere. Now, again, what happened here? What exactly happened here? So uh, let's make it easier. So as an example, we have here our uh, bus bars, medium voltage bus bars, and we have a group of motors, so not only one motor, we have group of motors. Okay. This is a motor which we need to protect. Okay, this motor which we need to protect. Okay, so um, and here we have a transformer as an example. Okay, a step down transformer and this one gets gets the power from the power grid this is an 11 kilovolt here okay 11 kilovolt so this transformer supplies electrical power to this motor this motor okay and this motor now remember something which is really really important if we have a fault on this motor okay we have a fault here what exactly will happen there will be a short circuit current flowing from the power grid to this motor okay which is the 26 kilo ampere okay the maximum short circuit current and at the same time what will happen is that these are motors which are taking power from electrical power grid now during a fault there will be a moment on which our motor will it change from a motor into a generator okay why because they have stored the mechanical power so they will start providing electrical power back to the electrical grid like this and since we have a short circuit here so it will take all of the current so we will have the short circuit current will be the short circuit current of the grid i grid plus i of the first motor plus 
i of the second motor okay why because they are mo a, a moment on which our generators or our motors will be a generator okay because they have stored mechanical power now this this uh, extra current from the motors is called the contribution here and we give it a percentage 50 to 80 percent of the rated or the highest short circuit current okay that's why we need to add this factor because we have other motors which will contribute to our short circuit level okay so in this lesson we discussed the uh, medium volt circuit breakers and how can we select them uh, as a short circuit uh, capacity or the breaking capacity and um, the different types of medium voltage breakers